Right, well, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. As you can see, I'm back out in the glorious Cheviot Hills. I wasn't going to be out this week. It's uh, the 10th, 10th of July, Monday, and uh, yeah, my lovely, lovely wife gave us a green light and told us, go on, get yourself out, knock yourself out, enjoy your camping. Um, so yeah. Uh, Lastminute.com planned a route. It's only about a mile and a half, two miles up the up a hill from the car. It's about 549 feet altogether, I think. Uh, Meters, sorry, not feet. And uh, yeah, now the weather forecast is for some heavy downpours and that, but um, it seems to be blowing over quite quickly. So you've got the crags over there where I've done a bivy camp. Headshore Pill, and then behind here we've got um, the Cheviot, which I'll be visiting tomorrow on my route back. So what I'll do is I'll go all the way along, up onto the Cheviot down, and through the valley, all the way back to the car. That's my route planned for the morrow. But I glorious day. Not many cars in the uh, in the car park. Not very busy here. It's absolutely boiling. There's a slight little breeze, and uh, yeah. So I'm out in the. Helen 1, Helen Compact 1 by Terra Nova. So I thought I'd bring that one back out the night and uh, just see how it goes. I've just brought out some bits and pieces. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll see I've just made my first lot of beef jerky. So I brought some of that out. Some noodles, some pilches or something, or sardines, something like that. Just basically crap that I had in the house. But anyway, I'm gonna push on up the top of here I'll bring his back when I get to the top. All right, because I'm knackered. <laughs> it's all his waffling. See you in a bit. Right, well, that's me here. There's no trig point that I can see in any way, but that's the direction I come from. You can see the crags in the distance. All right, look, look at this. There's a lovely flat area, so I'm going to get pitched here. I'm feeling a bit of a drizzle coming on, so the rain's going to come soon. There's a uh, some nice crags in that over there. A lovely, lovely view out there, like. So, because of the way the wind is, I'm, I'm gonna be looking out that way. I'm not gonna be perfect for views. But as you can see, hedge hope there, come along the way along. And then achieve it. So I'll be going up there tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> That's gonna be a killer. So I make sure I've got as much food and that as possible. But yeah, um, it's it's quite windy. Um, I'm at 500 and odd meters. But uh, yeah, 
not a bad little area for a pitch so obviously the wind's coming straight from that direction into my face as, as you look at it so but yeah I'm just going to put my bag down I think I'm just going to pitch here to be honest have me back in my tent to the uh, to the wind and then obviously be looking out that way Right, well, that's me all set up. Just about sorted inside the tent and the rain's just started. As you can see, that weather front that I said was coming over is here now. So I'm gonna jump inside the tent. As you can see, it's nice and clear in the distance, but I've got all this crappy rain coming now. So I'm gonna jump in inside my tent. Right, well, then. So I just got a, just about got set up. Like I said before, the rain's kicked in. So I've just checked the weather forecast, the mountain forecast one, and um, yeah, I, I checked it when I was at home, like I didn't realise the winds were going to get so high, like, so we're going to have a between 30 and 46 mile an hour winds, so I'm I'm five 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 hundred and forty odd metres in the air, uh, just up next to the Chivy, and it looks like it's going to be raining for a, for a few hours. So it's now nearly six o'clock and it's going to be raining until about nine o'clock with about 90% chance of rain at about um, 11 degrees. It's nice and cosy in here, like, it's just a shower. It's not pouring down at anything yet, but, uh, yeah. See, there we're gone. That's you huge side. <laughs> and I'm nice and cosy in here. Now I'm sitting on me my mat and my head is just about touching the top of the tent so that's happy days for me like i'm nice and cozy in here nice and warm dry i've got my legs stretched out sitting on a nice comfy chair and i'm just about to get one of these bad boys open a jack D. so anyway i've been really lucky with the weather on all my hill camps never had much bad weather at all like so it's part of the parcel isn't it but uh, it's just nice to be out and uh, I've got waterproof, so if I want to go and stand out in the rain, I'll put them on and uh, get some fresh air. But that's the thing I like about this Helm Compact one. I'm nice nice and cosy in here. Look, I've still got crap everywhere. Got me jackets and that down there, some stuff bags and that sort out, put away. And then inside of here, I've got me boots. This is the small compartment at the back. So I've got me boots there, but that yellow um, waterproof bag on the night time, that'll go over the top of there to stop any condensation or moisture getting inside my boots this year is my little pack that i wear around my waist i've still about got to do a video on it and i've still got to try and remember the name of it but that's got all my food and everything in it um soya filter food sweets bits of electrical kit and everything and then obviously i've got my bergen here all i've done is i've used my big old army issued uh, stuff sack and put it inside of there anything i don't need um it'll go in there it's a bit windy but yet again i've bought the drone out i might risk it for a biscuit later on we'll see how it goes um if not hopefully i'll um check the weather forecast for the morning try and get a bit of drone footage but i'm not about to try and risk me drone for the sake of a bit of footage it's new right well as you can hear the rain's in big style now, like, so there's no way I'm getting inside of this tent. But, uh, I pour myself my first Jack Daniels, so cheers, everybody. Welcome to the video. And I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everybody who supports the channel, watches the videos and comments. Um, as you know, I do reply to every single comment I get good or bad 
I don't know if it's really bad, like I'll just delete it and forget it because there's no point in getting involved in that kind of thing. But anyway, yeah, just come in, recently hit 6,000 subscribers, so I'm over the moon. I wasn't expecting to get that until about Christmas, but um, I had a very, very nice shout out by Blot Outdoors. Chris, you're a legend, mate. You and Schmick. Schmick. <laughs> Love watching your videos, mate. You're so funny. And how you get to remember all your different scenes that you have, it's just unbelievable. If you don't watch Blood Outdoors and you like a good laugh, go and watch him. His whiskey reviews and everything are funny as out. He does lots of stealth camping in strange places. I know he also does hill camps as well. So, yeah. Um, Chris's, Chris's channel is flying, like, so... Go and give him some support, everybody. All right, there'll be a link in the description below. And go and check him out. Funny bloke. There's a lot of lot of good videos. And I really enjoy watching them. I laugh all the way through them. But anyway, I had a lot of these um, subscribers come and join the channel. So if you're watching this, hello and welcome. That was a very, very shock to my system that night when I was getting that many subscribers. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying what I'm doing at the moment. Um, obviously, I'm going to try and get out on the motorbike with Rooney a few more times as well. I'm hoping to plan a few days away up in Scotland motorbiking with them. We've just got to work out our kit because we're taking too much kit. We're always doing anyway, but being on the motorbike, we need to really downsize. Um, I'm trying to plan lots of different things. Um, I will be going back into the woods at some point, but um, for some reason... I had a choice, I could have went to my local permission woods today or I could have come up on the hills and I decided to come up on the hills even though I knew the weather was going to be crap the night um, it's just something about it I'm really really enjoying it don't get us wrong, I love the woodlands I love going out, I like building stuff we're all looking for more uh, areas to grow camping in different woods and um, just sitting around the fire on a night time with people having a drink and making food that's a great way to chill out as well so I'm looking forward to getting back into the woods with Rooney but uh, I'm just going to sit and chill out tonight I'll probably waffle absolutely tons of crap here all night because I'm I'm 10 pounds right. right well what I thought was I'll come in and sit and talk is about the types of food that I've brought today so I brought some super noodles, a nice bag of beef jerky, we'll talk about that a little bit later. I've got a tin here of sardines, that's to go with me, me noodles and then put some beef jerky in. I've got a boost, I've got some sweets left over from the last time I was out in the hills and I've still got three three bars, like chocky bars, like nut bars, things like that, energy type bars. So that's that's the whole of me food. Uh, I've got two porridges in me brew kit as well. And then obviously I've got me three Jack Daniels. But yeah, I've been making some uh, beef jerky. Now I bought a big joint. I've cut it in half, used half of it up. And uh, as you can hear, it's pouring down out there. It's getting kind of windy as well, like... But well, here's the beef jerky look. Yeah. I just cut it in little bits and pieces. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice. I would say... Only using half the joint of meat, which the joint of meat was £9. Um, all the herbs and that I've got in any way, some of the bits and pieces I had to buy, so say... See, all together with using stuff and still having lots of the sauces and powders and all that together. But see, I probably spent about 15 quid. Now, if you have a look at that there, there's absolutely tons of bits in there. Now, I've seen some beef jerky getting sold at work. One of the lads went and bought a packet and he was eating it on his break. So I says, how many bits have you got in there, mate? And I think he had about eight or nine bits of beef jerky in it. I think it cost him £2.50. And I was thinking, Jesus Christ, that's a rip off that lake. But it was nice, I must admit, it was nice. Now, I've had a few few friends in the past make it. Rooney's made it as well. 
Um, another lad called Mick, who used to uh, camp with us a while back. Mick, if you're watching, hello mate. I hope you and the you and the wife and the lassies are all right and the laddie. But I, but as you can see, you can see the uh, bits of uh, flake and all that on there. So. Mm 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 mm. Hot diggity damn. Nice, chewy. It's got a nice bit of texture to it. It's got a lovely taste, and the aftertaste is really nice as well. So apparently, I'm not, I'm not a, a, a great cookout, but I bought this um like a dehydrator machine. Like, well, it's not. It's an It's a what do you call it? Fryer. Um. It is all sorts, like it roasts, it dehydrates, it grills, fries, all sorts of stuff. Um, and this is the first thing I've done. So I'm going to start doing things like fruit and things and other bits and pieces, mushrooms, all sorts of stuff, dehydrate and start, and start making my own like um, dry meals and things and like um, bits of dry fruit and that's what I can add it into my porridge and things. Right, well, all of a sudden the rain's just stopped. It's um, it's weird. So hopefully it stays off for a little bit and uh, I can get outside for a bit because I'm not going outside when it's pouring down with rain to have a look at the views that probably aren't there in any way because it's full of clag. I'm right near the top of uh, the Cheviot in any way. I'm only about, well, I'm still 300 metres off the, off the top of the chief yet, like something like that in any way. But anyway, I thought what I'd do is, I'd bring you along and show you my map, I've, I've, hence hence the glasses with the sellotape on. <laughs> All right. Um, I've just been marking out a route for tomorrow and uh, I've just hired in a couple of extra little things to go and check out as well, if I've got time and if I'm up to it, because it's quite a big route tomorrow, same as the last time. Uh, when I left the camp and I went on a walk. So whether it stays on this video or gets put out as a separate video, I don't know yet. But anyway, let's have a quick look. So what we've got is, so I parked the car here today, all right. And then I walk along. Now I was gonna walk all the way along this track, all the way, and then just go straight up. But um, I decided to walk along and then I come up this track here Followed all the way along, scooted out, and then I'm I'm just about here now. So tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the the track all the way up, as you can see, all the the the, um, the gradients there is getting hot, steeper and steeper and steeper, and then I'm going to hit the Cheviot, which is 815 meters. Okay, and then I'm going to move down there, join on to the Pennine Way, and come down to. Kirin kill or something. I'm sorry, um I just sometimes I can read things and sometimes I can't. Okay, I've explained this on a previous video. Alright, and then I'm gonna follow the Pennine Way all the way along and go to A Cup Corn. I think that's where it is. And then if I've got time, I would like to go and have a look at uh Hen Hole as well, which is just a bit further along on the Pennine Way. And then what I'll do is once I've finished having a look around there. Have a quick backtrack all the way back to here. Come down this track and join into the valley. Come all the way along uh, Hot Hope Burn. Following that all the way along. Back to the, um, the woodland that I was going to walk along to the farm. And then all the way back up here to the car. So it's a, it's a fair few miles. I'm going to work out on the how many miles it is soon and uh, what I'll do is I'll put it up on the screen how many miles I've walked all right but well, that's a tiny little trek so yeah it's, it's a few it's a few here like a few miles but that's what that's what my plan is for tomorrow in any way I was going to try and go there tonight for a for a camp um, but I just didn't have time to work out my route and all that and I just thought I'd come up here because it's nice and easy as you can see, just park there and then straight up and then in. 
All right, but I, I think that'd be a good little, good little adventure tomorrow. That, all depending on weather and everything, and if I, and if I actually um, make it through the night. Hey, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I keep on eating that beef jerk. You know, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm really, I'm really chuffed with it, to be honest. Maybe I'm going to take these off, and now all I can see is a blurred screen. <laughs> Right, so that's my plan of action for tomorrow, all right. I'm enjoying getting the map out and using the map and uh, marking it up and working out different things. And um, let me know in the comments, do you use a paper map or do you all go digital and use your phones? I use my phone as well, but I always use the map first. And then if I get stuck or if I'm struggling, I'll quickly revert back to the phone have a look in it because it, the little red arrow tells you exactly where you are and then you can work out on the map where you are and then start plotting again and moving on. That's what I'm trying to do. Obviously, get the compass out and things as well. Start trying to use that as well. It's getting back into it, isn't it? Getting back to the swing of things. So let us know in the comments, do you use a map and compass when you're out on the hills or doing any form of like walking and things or do you always use your phone? I'll see you later. The winds calm, well, not calm down, but the rain stopped. So I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and come out and see. Well, you can see straight away. Look at the ground, man. It's saturated. I'm glad I've got a, um, a what do you call it? A um, footprint on the floor. Oh, I've just stood on my bottle of water. Well, as you can see, it's well clagged over all the way around. Cannot even see the cheviot at all. But uh, yeah, it's actually not that cold in the wind either. But uh, yeah, it's proper clagged up. So I just thought I'd come out and quickly check on me, uh, me guidelines and that, make sure everything's tight, tighten them up a bit. But as you can see, it is, it is pretty windy. But the tent's just holding up really well. So, and it's that wind, it's that windy, it's it's drying the tent out straight away, like. But yeah, everything's sound. I think that nail needs to go on a little bit more. It's quite pity there. But yeah, not bad. <laughs> Finally, freedom! I'm out the tent. Woohoo! <laughs> I need to fasten my pants up though because my buttons are undone and everything. Because <laughs> now when you're sitting there and you're, you're, the, the tops of your trousers starts digging into your belly because you're sat up over. But I, oh, I tell you what, like, it's not bloody bad. Obviously, can't see anything anywhere, but it's. Once that rain stopped, like it's um, it's not too bad, like. But obviously I'm high up, and uh, the cloud is coming in. <sighs> ah, fresh air. Right, well, as you can see, the clouds have disappeared and it's not looking too bad, like, not looking too shabby at all. I'm just gonna walk over here a little bit. Look at the views now, man. It's still raining. Look at that dark cloud over there. That's one hell of a storm, that man. Look at that. Yeah, bloody Nora. We've been hit with, hammered with some storm. I've been having a time lapse going like, um, so obviously all the cloud, all the mist and everything's gone now. So that would have made a nice, a nice time lapse hopefully. I'm just gonna stop that now because I've got my second camera on the go. But yeah, brilliant. Be checking that bit out. But that's, that's, 
pitch black over there so that's that's one hell of a storm over there like but i i'm just standing out here i've only got my buffalo on but the outer casing of it's a bit waterproofy and if it gets wet in any way it stays warm so i thought what's the point putting a big bright red jacket on but you can see on the tops of the cheviot it's very very rare the cheviot's ever on show in any way but i class look at this it's bright over there unbelievable but look at that over there that is unbelievable that's that's one storm hitting over that side it's absolutely dark let's walk down a little bit and get a little bit of a better look i think i've camped on that hill in the front i'm, I'm not sure but i think i have i think that's um cold law um i'm positive it is like right that's one storm hitting over that side let's come in here look it's coming that's coming i got you jimmy <laughs> now it is i'm standing out in here it's like it's raining but it's not it's like if it's like a bit of a trickle really but it's just nice to get out of the tent what time is it now 10 past nine at night and it's still light i don't think i'm going to get a sunset like but i i've just been sitting chilling playing about with my phone, listening to some music, eating some beef jerky and drinking Jack Daniels. Now it is so relaxing. I would normally be doing that but sitting at the door looking out. But the contrast of the weather compared to if you look over that side, you can actually see a bit of sunlight. But I have some lovely hills around here. Lots to explore. Aye, lovely. Nice to be out. Out and about. Oh, just nearly fell out. <laughs> hey! Right, let's take a little walk up here and we'll have a look over this side. I tell you what, like, I'm not glad I didn't, didn't camp there. Look at that. That's dead boggy. So look, get, getting a little bit, little bit boggy here, like. But uh, that area was okay, and hopefully it'll be okay tonight. Um, I'll check the forecast, but I think I think the rain was stopping round about now in any rate for for a few hours at least. I hope he's going to hear us properly with this mic. But I we're going up there tomorrow tomorrow morning. Never been up on the Cheviot before, so it's uh, one to tick off my list. Apparently, the Cheviot can have its own um, its own type of climate, but uh, yeah. Tell you what, in this wind, I'm feeling a little bit of a chill, to be honest. Aye, it is windy now, like. So that's the path that I'll be taking. I'm wanging slightly right, all the way up to the top. 815 metres. Look at that cloud up there, man. Wicked. Right. I'm getting myself too excited. <laughs> I do you know, and how it is, I love the woods, but I really love this as well. It's just different. It's a different feeling. It's like a, I get a buzz. It's windy, it's wet. You know, you're stuck in a tent most of the time when it's pissing down, but it's enjoyable. I love the walk in me. You know, I, I love the, it kills us. Oh, pardon me. It kills us, but I just love it. It's absolutely fantastic. And it's good exercise as well. Keep us fit and young looking. 
I'm fucking way past that. Sorry for swearing, but I'm way, I'm way past that. Hey man, I'm only, I'm only, I'm only 53, you know. 53. God, I wish I had been doing this when I was younger. Right, well, as you can see, it's nice and dry again outside. So I've put my tea on. So I've got my gas stove on there, my Soto stove. I've put in uh, some uh, chicken noodles. I think the chicken noodles are curry noodles. Curry noodles, I think they are. I've put a few little bits of um, beef jerky in. I think I'm going to hoist some more in, like. And then just give it a little bit of a stir. And then when that comes to the boil a little bit, I've put loads of extra water in just in case the, the beef jerky soaks the water in. And uh, once I've put that in, I'll get me... I might, I might put that in. A tin of uh, da, 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 sardines, I think it is. Is it sardines? A tin of sardines. Or I might actually keep that as a snack for the morrow. Because to be quite honest, I'm not really that hungry. I've been chomping on this all night. As you can see, the bag's north dwindling away. It's it's just so bloody tasty. I tell you, what a what a great thing to bring out camping with. Lightweight, chewy, it's like having this Get out of my mouth when I'm talking it. Dirty boy. It's like having a little sweet, but you know what I mean? It's full of full of goodness, protein and everything, um, energy, the whole lot. <laughs> Makes you loopy, you know. It does. But either um, the sun's not gone down properly yet, I don't think. Not that you can really see, like, because of the clouds. But uh, there's, some, there's some great cloud formations going on out there. Just going to sneak a bit of... Um, Beef jerky in my mouth while the camera's not looking at us. Right, tea for the night. Probably be more like soup to be honest. But yeah, I definitely think I'll be making more of this beef jerky. Try some different flavours, some different spices and things. Happy days, like happy days. Yeah, the weather seems to have calmed right down now. Just a slight breeze, no rain. Just where I like it. Happy days. Right, I can see my food's gonna bubble over. Well, turn the wrong way. I'm just gonna turn it down. Now it's simmer now. Mm -hmm. It's got a froth on. I don't want to stick in. I've had to transfer my Jack Daniels from this into my little cup. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. I, I think I'll just keep the sardines for the morrow. I'll eat that as a snack on me on me walk. Keep a few bits of uh, beef jerky if I can stop eating it. That is. I think I'll take that out me out me stove just in case. Aye, right, that's not 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 far left. Not long before that's finished. Aye. Not looking bad. Looks nicer over there though. Time lapse still going. Hope I get some nice time lapses. I like a good time lapse. Right, so it's not too bad. It's sort of like cleared off a little bit. It did say in the weather forecast that it would by nine o'clock ish. Then I think I'm gonna get hit again about two o'clock in the morning for about three or four hours. So, we'll see how the tent holds up. Right. I don't know if there's any camping spots on the TV. No, I don't think I would want to camp up by there anyway, because it's always covered in cloud, even during the day. But, uh, yeah. Hedge ropes covered as well, still. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to shoot off. I'll, not, I'll, I'll let you know what this tastes like uh, later on. The meat looks like it hasn't swelled at all, like, so it probably need to soak in the water for quite a bit, like, to be honest. But aye, I'm going to get these noodles and that down my neck. 
and uh, I'll speak to you in a short while. I'm sure I will. Right, well, I thought I'd tune in before I um, start drinking me last Jack Daniels. Actually, this is only my second Jack Daniels, and uh, I've still got that one to go. It's 11 o'clock at night. I've just been sitting chilling. I've had a, a nice conversation with me, Mukha Rooney, who's been to work all day. Oh, cheers, Rooney. You're a good one. We'll get out camping soon, son. But aye, it's 11 o'clock at night. The winds are picking up. A little bit of a splash of rain on the tent again. And uh, but now it is. I'm toasty warm. This bu the Buffalo jacket is the way forward for me. Like, the softy jacket is just no good. And uh, I've still got the door open. I just haven't got this, the outer compartment open. But aye, um, the winds are starting to pick up. I've just looked. And apparently it's going to get up to about 45 mile an hour winds the night. So I'm like, oh my God. But the Helm Compact one is as tough as boots like. I've seen so many great reviews about it. And to be honest, I'm over the moon with its the way it acts in the strong winds. It's, uh, it's solid. It is, honest. I think it's better than me Hex Peak, to be honest. I would definitely consider getting the the two man one of this like definitely consider getting it but anyway cheers everybody this is definitely my last bit of footage for tonight unless something really drastic happens and uh the food it was noodles and some beef jerky as you can see there's not much of it left i'm going to keep this for the morrow now for when i'm walking I can chomp on this on my walk because I've got a, I've done the math and it's gonna be about 14 and a half k's and um, my walk tomorrow. So it's another epic walk, so that may be a different video altogether again. Um I'm just watching what I'm putting my leg on. But um yeah. I've enjoyed myself. Most of the time I've been stuck in the tent, but you know it is, it hasn't bothered me at all. I'm sat here, nice and chillaxed, comfortable. And uh, legs stretched, warm, fed and watered, entertained by doing posts on YouTube, Facebook, eh, not YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, and watching a couple of YouTube videos. Taught me mucka, Rooney, and uh, yeah, happy days. Life is good. I hope it is for you, lot. All right. And if it's not. I'm sure things will get better. All right. There's a lot we'll go through things in life. And uh, yeah. This is my way of escaping things. I've had a couple of drinks now, haven't I? So I'm starting to waffle. But aye. Um, to use a lot, that's been consciously asking about me, ma. Uh, there's a, there's, a, there's a few people being doing it. I was going to say some names there, but I can't name everyone, so I'm not going to name names now. But uh, for the people that continuously ask about my mum on every video, thank you very much. She's um, soldiering on really well. Obviously, some things are starting to take effect. But, uh, yeah, all's good. Right, before I start getting into serious mode and things, I catch you in the morning. In the morning, even. See you later. Guess what? The goddamn tent is holding up, boys and girls. It's holding up.
Right, good morning everybody. Well, I woke up about half past five, quarter six this morning. It was still clogged over and it was raining. So I just turned, I didn't even bother putting the camera on. I just turned around, went back to sleep for an hour. Woke up to unclogged. Obviously, the cheviot's all covered, which it normally is. And anyway, in cloud all the way along to the hedge hope. But look at this, it's all nice and cleared out there. I've missed the sunrise, obviously, but yeah, beautiful. Well, stunning views of the day. But uh, as you can see, I've got a bit more clag coming in. So I'm just gonna put my stand down a bit. Let's go and have a look down into the valley and uh, see what we can see. But yeah, I am. Um, the wind woke us up a few times last night. Even though I had ear plugs in, it got canny blur, uh, canny, canny noisy like. But um, yeah, I just nearly fell over. But yeah, not bad. Right. So there you go. Oh, the wind! When I put the camera up in the air, that wind knock grabbed the whole of it there. Like, it's still windy. But it's not too bad. As you can see, the sun's trying to poke its head out through the clouds. But uh, yeah, look at that, man. Whoo! Beautiful, beautiful. If it stays dry, I'll be a happy, man. Oh, but no doubt, it'll be a different story when up the, up the top of there than uh, later on. In the next, say, hour, I'll be heading off up there, like, into the clouds and the, the windy, 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 windy area. <laughs> right, looks stunning. <coughs> if it's clear on the top, I'll get some belter views. Yeah. Yeah, and just feel a little trickle on the back of me, the back of me jacket there now. So the, the rain's coming back. Right. Yeah, it's starting to rain again. So, retreating back to the tent, get myself organised. But I, this has held up really well. Really impressed with the Helm Compact 1 me like. I think it's, it's even more sturdier than the, um, the Helm, the Hex Peak. Let's push that in a bit. Definitely sturdier than the Hex Peak this, like, it's hardly budged at all last night. As you can see, <sighs> rain's coming back. Bloody rain. Rain, rain, go away, come back, another die. I'm spinning around like a lunatic here, but I'm just admiring all the views. And anyway, I'm going to get some breakfast, and uh, it's a cup of tea. It's just porridge, so I'll not bore you with that. And then I'm going to have a, a bit of a pack up and uh, see how things go. But um, I'll try and put a bit of a time lapse up for you and we'll see, see how it goes. That's if the clag doesn't come back. So it looks like it's moving along. So, uh, yeah, starting to come in a bit. I was hoping to have loads of uh, a cloud inversion like in the, in the valley light, but it's just never appeared. But as you can see, the clouds are coming down. Right, well, that's me all packed up and ready for me hike up to the top of the Cheviot and then all the way back round. All I've got to do is, is uh, put my route up on my phone and then crack on doing a few miles. But yeah, that was a canny night last night. Bit, bit, um, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit um, wet and windy, but I enjoyed myself. I was out, I had my own entertainment and uh, yeah, 
that's my pitch as you can see a nice dry area so as always on the hills or anywhere if possible leave no trace we can't leave 100 percent no trace because there is a, a, a dry patch there and if anybody walks up they'll see it but uh it'll soon melgar in melgar in thingy into the land like the rest of it but anyway as you can hear it's blowing a hooli and it's going to be very windy up top so i'm going to head up there and uh i'll bring you along <laughs> so sit back relax enjoy the ride and let's have fun so i've got 14 k's to walk and the first part of it is about 266 meter climb and it's kind of steep so that's gonna that's gonna take us a while just to get to the top of the achieve it and then when i get up there it's gonna be it's gonna be a different type of weather forecast altogether up there i'm gonna be in the cloud it's gonna be so windy it's gonna be unreal i'll probably have to get me a big jacket on and everything and get rid of this hat and put a woolly hat on and things when i get up there because it will be blown really bad like but anyway enough waffle let's get cracking 